Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. This is my recap from the amazing 2015 SHOT Show. For those of you who don't know, the National Shooting Sports Foundation SHOT Show is the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show for our industry. It is a place where dealers, distributors, members of the media, manufacturers, gear, accessories, optics, hunting stuff, all of the things that we love, <laughs> all in one place under one roof in Las Vegas. It is huge. It's practically impossible to see everything at the show, even though it lasts for four days. I started out my SHOT Show with a super early flight. <laughs> I think it was like at 5.50 or something in the morning. It was very, very early. And so I ended up getting into Las Vegas on Monday morning, which meant I had a chance to go check out the Smith & Wesson and Thompson Center booths, help them with some few last minute preparations to get the uh, booth ready. And then I also planned my route of attack. This year I had appearances at Smith & Wesson, uh, along with my fellow teammates, the Michelick family, Doug Koenig, Trevor Balcom, Randy Rogers, Josh Lentz, and Brandon Wright. I didn't get to spend much time with them. I think we took a few selfies here and there and said hello, but it's always great to see them. And of course, the Smith & Wesson booth is always hopping at SHOT Show. I also had signing sessions at Benelli. I actually kicked off my SHOT Show fun at the launch party for the newest from Benelli, the 828U, which is their first jump into the over and under shotgun world. It is a beautiful gun. The launch party was a huge success. I got to see Michael Rooker, and you probably know him as Merle from The Walking Dead. And I also had a chance to meet Teresa Vale, who you've probably heard of as a former Miss Kansas and Miss America contestant. She has a new show coming out on the Outdoor Channel called Limitless. Absolutely such a neat lady and such a joy to talk to. Love her! Now every year I really look forward to Team Safari Land demos. We have so much fun. Team Safari Land consists of Tom Campbell, Scott Carnahan, Robin Kippy Latham, Maggie Reese, Mike Voigt, Doug Koenig, Bobby McGee, Bob Vogel, Kendall Lonsang, and myself. I think I got everybody. <laughs> and we each have a little portion of the demo. I usually talk about how I set up my USPSA rig and how I like to set it up on my body as a lady shooter. But I also had a chance at the end of the show to demo with kind of like an impromptu thing with Rob Latham. There's a reason why they call Rob the great one of our sport. He gets all blushy weird whenever you tell him that. But oh, we had so much fun. We took a selfie with the crowd and we totally put on a good show and it was just uh, just an amazing time. It's always so much fun working with members of Team Safari Land in the booth. Now at the end of 2014, I signed on as a brand ambassador with Federal Premium Ammunition. So this is my first SHOT Show I've had a chance to work with Federal. Wow, holy smokes. <laughs> Their booth is enormous. I had a chance to do a couple signing sessions and did a little talk about the importance of getting women out to the range and how to help them have the best experience as possible, as well as a Q&A session. They had this amazing stage and this huge screen. I was larger than life. It was like, wow. <laughs> and the federal people are such a joy to work with. Shacho was also all about the girl power, I'll tell you. Not only was there the annual Proas Award that is given out at SHOT Show every year by Proas Hunting Apparel for Women, this year's recipient was the lovely Christine Cunningham, and I was very uh, proud to be a judge again this year. There was also the Women's Shooting Industry Outdoor, Women's Shooting Hunting, Women's Outdoor Industry, the Women's Dinner. <laughs> um, I was served on the committee as a philanthropy chair and we raised over $15,000 for a charity called Task Force Dagger. The National Shooting Sports Foundation asked me to speak about my experience as a woman in the industry, as a professional competition shooter, and uh, someone who is a strong believer in the Second Amendment and firearm safety. 
and I just loved having the chance to talk to members of the media about it, along with the amazing report that the NSSF has just put out on the awesome trending that we're seeing with women and guns. I also had a chance to uh, put on a seminar with my Smith & Wesson teammate, Randy Rogers. We did a seminar called Merchandising to Women, and it was a huge success. So thank you to the NSSF for making that possible, and hopefully we'll be able to do that again sometime. I got to meet Dana Lesh. Of course, got my book signed, and there were even puppies. I wanted to take Kai home with me, but they wouldn't let me. Another highlight of the show for me was having the opportunity to chat with one of our World War II veterans. He was just such a charming gentleman, and he shared with me on his iPhone a photo of one of his most recent groups, a 100 round knot hole from uh, when he last shot on December 7th. The other amazing thing, really amazing thing that happened to me at SHOT Show this year was that I was nominated for SHOT Business Person of the Year. Just to be nominated, I tell you, I was absolutely floored, but when they actually announced my name and I, it was a real moment, it just fills me with so much pride to be recognized by the National Shooting Sports Foundation and SHOT Business. Wow, it was just, I'm, I'm humbled and honored. So thank you very, very much. Yeah, it was just it, just the vibe and the energy and the excitement of SHOT Show is just something I wish I could push through the camera to give to all of you because it's such an amazing thing. If you have any questions about SHOT Show in general, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I didn't get to see a lot of the show, but I will do my best to answer those for you. Watch for more exciting stuff, and until next time, be safe and have fun.